having our membership do the installations, having them be a part of the you know the the, the process. Uh, what, what happens there is it resonates down to every community member, and everyone can say, my my cousin installed that, my uncle installed that, my auntie, my niece. You know, there's that connection that that you have that pride of ownership. We partnered up with uh, Iron Earth uh, for this particular uh, project and uh, with Louis Bull out of Muskogee, Alberta to provide training, skills training for the solar industry through our five-day uh, solar training program. And also with that solar training program uh, it comes a real installation where the students get to, uh, get to have their hands on uh, an installation here on the Louis Bull daycare. We were lucky enough to be graciously welcomed into this community. We participated in really special cultural activities and then with local participants in the community, we worked on this installation shoulder to shoulder. The cultural integration was a huge, huge success. I totally believe it was in the participants that, you know, partook. They really enjoyed that also. You know, some of them never took a part in a pipe ceremony, a sweat. Some of them never even had a moose meat. But I think it's uh, it goes back to the understanding, I believe, and what the treaties are. That uh, we, as uh, First Nations and Canadian citizens, we need to take care of each other, take care of the land, and, you know, take care of uh, the future generations. Ethical production of energy is of paramount importance. Failing to do so has a tremendous cost. These days, that's also a financial cost. And the whole time, the environmental costs have been there. They're only starting to now be quantified. It's important to me that this is clean energy. You know, it, it shows our, our responsibility toward environmental stewardship. It shows our responsibility in, in creating sustainability for those next seven generations, our grandkids, their grandkids. I mean, if we can prove this can be done here in a First Nation community, I believe every municipality or every county or every, you know, city, village has that opportunity to move in this direction also so they can become more self-sufficient on their own, but also create capacity development and have people trained in their local community. Feeling charged up? Visit davidsuzuki.org slash charged up for more information or to get involved. Together, we have the power to make change.